Hey everyone, Oswanton007 here, back to do another pay-per-view review. Uh, I'm here from WrestleAccess.com, and today we've got No Way Out 2008. Um, I'll get straight into the pay-per-view. It started off with, what was it, uh, ECW Championship match between Sam Punk and Chavo Guerrero. This was an alright, like an average match, it really, nothing that special, it didn't really, uh, Pull any heartstrings for me. Some people thought this was fairly good, but uh, they had some good wrestling moves, but it only really went for about six, seven minutes, just really to get the crowd pumped up for the rest of the pay-per-view, and it, it kind of did. I mean, it, be, it was a... With these two experience, you'd think they could have done better, but I've only sort of gone with a two-star match here. They didn't really do much. The, I don't know how people have given it three stars. I just... Didn't feel it that well much. Um, in the end, Chavo got the win. I can't remember how. Uh, I think it was the, with the frog splash or something. Um, but CM Punk did some nice moves, like uh, give him the three amigos, and uh, that was fairly cool, like a tribute to uh, uh, Eddie Guerrero, and he got booed for it, though, which was uh, kind of odd. Um, but apart from that, yeah, two stars. The next match was the SmackDown Dash ECW Elimination Chamber match with the winner getting a uh, World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. Um, the match was between Batista, Great Carly, Big Daddy V, MVP, Finley, and Undertaker. The match started with uh, Undertaker and Batista, and these two were pretty much just it through the whole way. They finished it and ended it. There was no one else really in this match that you would think would be main eventing Mania. It was just those two. And the match really lacked from it. I mean, they just sort of stayed around Batista and uh, Undertaker. They kind of evened it out with Finley allowed to use a weapon. I think MVP used his chain or something. MVP used the, uh, uh, the, the shillelagh. But still, it didn't help them. Undertaker and Batista were the last two. You know, they had a nice little finishing manoeuvre thing, but it didn't really bring up the pay-per-view at all, the match at all. Three and a quarter stars, Undertaker wins, goes into Mania against Edge. The next match is a career-threatening match between Ric Flair and Mr. Kennedy. This, again, wasn't that great. It was better than the ma than Ric Flair's match at the last pay-per-view against MVP. Uh, just, like, they've both been given the same score, but it was a bit better. Um... Like, the tad little bit better. But uh, overall, it was really nothing that special. They just Matt wrestled for a while, and Ric Flair came out with the win in the end. Um, there was really nothing behind the rivalry or anything. Two and a quarter stars, and just a bit lackluster. Um, next match was the World Heavyweight Championship match between Edge and Rey Mysterio. This was a quick match for a World Heavyweight Championship match. Um, it only seemed like it went for, like, five to ten minutes. Rey Mysterio was injured, which kind of helped this all together. The Edgeheads went allowed at ringside, and uh, Rey Mysterio went for something, and Edge just hit the spear in midair again, from, like, uh, a la the last pay-per-view. But really, there's nothing to this match. Two and a half stars. After the match, though, uh, Rey was injured, and uh, Big Show comes out and says, oh, I'm back, I'm slimmer and better than ever, I'm bad and meaner, and then he just attacks Rey, and attacks his arm. Um, and then Fla Floyd Money Mayweather comes in, hits him in the face a bit, and uh, breaks Big Show's nose. Now, the funny thing about this rivalry is that uh, Big Show's the heel, but he turns into the face in the end, which, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so then the next match was the WWE Championship match between Randy Orton and John Cena. Again, nothing that special. Another two and a quarter star match. Fucking, excuse my language. Um, Randy Orton, um, Randy Orton got disqualified at the end. It was just another meaningless match. Just uh, doing a little bit of a push into mania. But it was just very lackluster. Did not enjoy the match very much. The ending made it even worse. Two and a quarter stars. Uh, Randy Orton lost when he slapped the referee. Is pretty much it. Um, apart from that, John Cena attacked him after the match. Gave him an FU and STF. Uh, two and a quarter stars. Then the last match of the night, and the match of the night, and it kind of made the pay-per-view. Uh, the Raw Elimination Chamber match with HBK, Triple H, Jeff Hardy, Umaga, Chris Benoit, and JBL. 
Now this match, how can I say, this match was by far the best match of the night, will definitely be my top 10 matches of the year, and uh, they did a really great job in this, I mean, uh, Triple H and Jeff Hardy came out last too, it started with uh, HBK and Chris Jericho, and they had some great wrestling, they did. They had the best first five minutes I've seen in a, in a elimination chamber. Those first five minutes were awesome. Then you got Umaga coming out. He did his Umaga thing. But, um, no, wait, no, JBL came out next, I think. And then Umaga came out. Oh, one of the other, something. One of the two came out first. Then Triple H comes out, gets an elimination on JBL. Then Jeff Hardy comes out, and uh, then that really picks up. There's, like, three eliminations. Jeff Hardy does, like, a swanton bomb off the top of a pod onto Umaga after everyone else hit their finishes on Umaga, eliminating Umaga. Um, then I think it was Chris Jericho, HBK. That was between Jeff and Triple H. and that, It was a great finish. Um, Jeff Hardy hit his finisher. Uh, Triple H hit a pedigree on him, and Jeff Hardy kicked out. That was awesome. Jeff Hardy went for the, hit the twist of fate. Triple H kicked out. Jeff Hardy went for the twist of fate again on a chair, and Triple H turned around and pedigreed him onto the chair. It was a great finish to a great match. Really enjoyed it. Four and a half, four and a quarter stars, and it really made the pay per view uh, into a. I think I've given it a seven point two five. I think I'm going to drop it down to yeah, seven point two five out of ten. The last match really made the pay per view. I mean, the other matches were. Not even average. They were below average, but they were all building to mania. They all had a pre-existing reason why they were there and why they were only two and a quarter stars and two and a half stars and stuff like that. The SmackDown Elimination Chamber was a bit uh, was a bit lackluster, but you know it was again pumping towards mania. The only match that wasn't really uh, like trying to do a storyline to mania is the Raw Elimination Chamber, and that's the one that uh, definitely succeeded the most. So overall, as I said before, 7.25 out of 10. I'm a Swanton, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And check out wrestleaccess.com. Thanks, guys.